What's up guys, I'm Corey. And I'm Alicia. And today we're gonna to talk with you about one of the most important aspects about having a successful fitness career, and that's staying motivated. Staying motivated is important because it's what drives us to achieve our fitness goals and any goals in life for that matter. You obviously already have some amount of motivation to be watching this video and to be embarking on some sort of fitness endeavor to begin with. So now we talk about the challenging part, which is keeping that motivation, having that motivation day in and day out. Right. So one of the most frequent questions that I get is how I stay motivated all the time. And um, if you look at my social media and if you look at how um, I am on a day-to-day -day basis, I do come off as ready to go every single day and just always in a great mood and always wanting to work out, excited to meal prep. I work pretty hard at staying motivated and I do a lot of different things to help me stay motivated every day. And um, by doing that, it kind of transpired into our relationship and he started doing it too. And now we do it together. So we've tried to break this down into three simple things that we do. The first one we're going to talk about is setting a goal. You have to set a goal to stay motivated. We want to set up specific goals. Don't say I want to get in shape. Don't say I want to get fit or lose weight because those are going to happen. You need to set up goals that are you're going to see the results. You're going to see numbers change. You're going to see actions happen and it's going to continue to motivate you. And you also kind of want to start off with simple goals, somewhat easier goals, I guess. Right. Don't jump right into a, you know, running a marathon or doing a bodybuilding competition. But Don't be me. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got some great examples if you want to go ahead and let them know some of yeah. the, uh, the goals you've hit along the way. Yeah. I have always um, been kind of a goal setter, so it, this has come a little bit more natural to me, but after I had cruise, I was kind of, you know, in a, in a slump and I wanted to lose some weight. I had some fitness goal, goals that I wanted to accomplish and I was coming from a completely like sedentary state. I was not an active person. I had never ran more than three miles in my life. Um, I'd never lifted weights. You know, I was not the same person I am today by any means. So essentially I did have to kind of restart and I had to do that by setting small goals. Um, some of the goals that I set were related to fitness, you know, how much weight I wanted to lose. So I would say I wanted to lose 10 pounds, you know, by April 5th. So once I would hit that goal, it would continue to motivate me to create a new goal. Um, after I started to lose the weight, then I started to incorporate strength training goals. So I want squatting 135 was a goal of mine. I wanted to do a pull up. Um, I wanted to be able to run a half marathon. So those were other goals that I had created for myself and then I want to lose X amount of weight by this date. I want to be able to do one pull up <coughs> by this day. That has really, really helped me as far as accomplishing those goals. Yeah, and once you do get a little bit more advanced, you can set out goals such as a bodybuilding competition. Yeah. That's what me and her are both doing right now, and I don't think I've ever been more motivated. Because yeah. I, I feel like my first few goals, uh, getting in shape and getting getting jacked, getting big was my pretty much my first goal. And uh, <laughs> I noticed that, that when I was doing that, it led to a lot more cheating. It led to a lot more getting thrown off track, a right. lot more a, a, a lack of discipline. Yeah. Um, and now that I'm actually in a competition, I, I'm being held somewhat accountable. I'm going to get on stage in front of people. like it's really motivating me to want to stay on track and uh, basically not lose sight of my goals. Yeah. So start off small, start off with something that's uh, achievable in your fitness condition or your fitness level. Start off with something that's measurable and uh, basically something that's gonna show you results, whether it's on a number on the scale, whether it's your first pull up, just make sure that it's something that will tell you, hey, what you're doing is working. Right. And then All right, step number two is developing some sort of support program. Right. Basically have friends that are into the same thing that you are, whether it's your friends in person or social media. I mean, technology is huge today, so that yeah. actually is a thing. She's the thing. queen yeah. of that. <laughs> but regardless, when, you're, uh, when you get into a fitness career, the first thing that people are going to do is they're, they're going to doubt you. They're going to think that you do not belong in this career. Guess what? Me and her didn't either. And yeah. uh, I'd say so far we're doing pretty well. What get at is you want to surround yourself with people who are going to encourage you people who are going to appreciate what you're doing. And that might not be your close friends and family. I'm not saying you have to cut them out, but try to interact more with the people who are going to encourage you and who are going to motivate you on a daily basis. Yeah. Instagram is actually a great source for motivation. Social media in general. And she can elaborate, elaborate on that a little bit more. Yeah, um, for me, like I mentioned in, in previous videos, social media was a huge, huge backbone to my success. Um, I started out by creating a fitness Instagram just to kind of keep me accountable. And it just spiraled into this whole thing that helped me reach all of my goals because I was literally filling up my feed with just fitness. 
and um, I was meeting people in real life that I met on social media and I was slowly weeding out people that were not aligned with my goals and bringing people in that were aligned with my goals. And so by doing that, it helped me stay on track. Um, I definitely found that I was, you know, surrounding myself by, or surrounding myself with people that were just into fitness, into bodybuilding, into meal prepping, that were postpartum moms. Um, any anything that was relatable for me, it, it really helped me. So social media can can kind of get a bad rap, but it actually can really help if you you know meet people through it. So, um, but surrounding yourself with positive people and just people that support you is going to be so so crucial i can't even stress that enough it's it's hard enough to do it it's even harder to do it when you don't have support so if that means that you need to create a new circle then that that's what it means and you just got to do it um, yeah and not only is it going to be vocal support or people cheering you on but uh, a good example is when you're the only one who's into bodybuilding say you're on a competition prep or say you're just trying to prep your food to, to hit those goals faster all your friends are going to want to do is go out and eat they're going to want to go out and drink that's extremely hard. Yeah. That's extremely hard to basically have a goal in sight and continue to pursue it when everybody around you, everybody you associate yourself with is doing the opposite. So mm -hmm. they, it, we're not saying that they're gonna not be supportive of you because they're gonna put you down or bring you down, but they, they're just not gonna understand. And they're, they're basically gonna want you to continue to do things with them that you usually do and yeah. which are gonna throw you completely off track of your goals. So, but make friends with the people in the industry. You know, yeah. make friends with people on Instagram that are into the fitness life. Go to the gym, meet friends at the gym. It's uh, it's gonna allow you to reach your goals a lot more efficiently. Right. And then the third step is accept life's speed bumps. Life, <laughs> life will fuck you. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I tell her this all the time. She's extremely passionate about this sport, and she can be obsessive sometimes, which is good because that's kind of what I think you gotta you know, have to be successful. Yeah. However, it gets to the point to where if she misses a day at the gym because uh, I'm sorry, I'm a Marine still and I gotta stay at work overnight. Game over. She, it, she thinks <laughs> that the, the world is coming to an end. What he's saying is so, so true. Like life's gonna happen and you're gonna get sick and you're gonna have work events. You're gonna be traveling. You're going to be, you know, the, I, get, I mean, if you go to Costco and you don't have my chicken, like <laughs> you better not Happens be the girl at the register because I, yeah, I just, I get so upset, but you know, you just got to roll with the yeah. punches. You know, so. Basically what we're getting at is these things are going to happen. There are yeah. going to be things that naturally happen that you have no say in that are going to make your goals seem like they're, they're not going to happen or that you're falling off track. And the best way to approach that is to accept that that's going to happen ahead of time. Accept it because if you do, once you finally get sick, you're like, well, I'm kind of somewhat prepared for this. I know what I got to do. I'm not going to push through my workouts. I'm not going to freaking go out to eat or drink or whatever it is. I'm going to rest. I'm going to get better. And that way I'm going to hit the floor running and continue my goal. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry if we get a little bit long-winded sometimes. It's what we do. So, hey, if you didn't remember anything from this video, just remember these three things. The first one, set a goal. Second, support, surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Step three, accept that life is going to fuck you at times. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so here, we're, she's going to go ahead and, and name off some things basically that we have done in the past and that we still do that will help you. Uh, what we like to do is, is a lot of and, and audio and visual um, motivational stuff. So whether right. it's watching videos on YouTube, listening to videos on YouTube, or creating things that we're going to look at that are going to constantly keep us on, on our path. And uh, I'll, I'll let you go ahead and tell them what we got. Yeah. So I treat... Um, re-inspiring myself every day like a muscle. I just work it every single day. I have to practice it or I'm gonna lose sight of it. But so one of the first things that I do when I wake up in the morning is when I'm making my breakfast, I always have YouTube playing. So if I'm feeling down or if I'm feeling not motivated to work out or you know, um, maybe I'm stressed out about something or I'm tired, then I just type in whatever it is that I'm looking for, motivation. The morning is the best time to do it too because when you first wake up, it's gonna set the tone to your day. So whether it be a podcast or YouTube or an audiobook or whatever. Another thing that I do is I'm always looking up on Pinterest or Instagram motivational quotes. One really speaks to me, then I set it as my, uh, my screensaver on my phone. So every time I look at my phone, it's a reminder. Um, another thing that I do is I do vision board. If you look here, like I had that I wanted to become a personal trainer. I put that I wanted to do YouTube and grow my social media, um, which the, both of those things, I've, I've done that. Um, it says buy our first home. We actually accomplished that this year. You know, just visualize it because 
it, it's, tr it's true when they say that if you can envision yourself doing something that you have far more success, a far more chance of success than if you just think about it. It's just practice. There's a lot of little things that you can do, but the main things Corey already he already discussed with us, and you know, just take it from there and then take your own spin on it. Yeah. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. If you yeah. liked our content, please give us a like, uh, share the video, and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, it is likes and we get the comments. Um, and the subscriptions and stuff, it lets us know that you guys are interested in our content. If you have feedback or you would like to see something different, feel free to let us know. We're here to help, you know, we just, we get asked a lot of questions on how to do things and we're trying to kind of like tunnel it into one place so that we can be beneficial to everybody and in turn we like doing it, so. Simply yeah. put, it keeps us motivated. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so stay motivated guys. Alright, see you guys. Bye.